Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Are you excited about the IoT and clouds? And do you want to control the LEDs by using the Blink app? Here is the exciting project friends. Now in this project, we are controlling the LEDs by using the Blink app, which is nothing but the IoT and cloud friends. Without any further delay, now let us jump into the project friends. Controlling the ESP32 LEDs over the IoT cloud that is a blink. What are the things that are required friends? The first is ESP32 development kits as you see it on the screen friends. The second the most important one the breadboard. So we are mounting ESP32 on this breadboard friends. And now we are taking as in two LEDs. One is a red LED another one is a blue LED friends. So for this connections we are taking a two 220 ohm resistors. You can see it over here friends. And we are taking a couple of an jumper wires that is male to male. You can see it over here friends. And along with this one USB A at one side, micro USB on other side for flashing and get the power from the light. Now let us see the live connection friends. Now micro B USB at the top side. You can see SP32 which is having a Wi-Fi and BT module. The micro USB on the top side friends. On my left hand side you can see the ground D2 and D4. On right hand side you can see the red LED with the resistor, blue LED with the resistor friends. Now what we have to do now we need to complete the diagram friends. Now I am taking from the ground and drawing the line to connect it to the resistor of a red LED and blue LED friends you can see now I am connecting to the red and blue LED resistor friends now I am taking from the D2 and giving connection to the red LED friends you can see it on the screen friends now let me take from the D4 the connection from the D4 I am extending and giving on to the blue LED friends so like this I have given so this is the connection diagram D2 to red LED, D4 to blue LED friends. So this is the with the resistor I have connecting and to the ground friends. So this is the connecting diagram friends. In order to complete this project these six stages is very important friends. The stage one is nothing but the Arduino IDE and blink LED using ESP32. What are the libraries required for ESP32 board? We need to install it and make it is happen friends. So familiar with as IDE and ESP32 is a matter friend. Now in the stage 2, we need to connect it to the access point and print the local IP. In that case, we need to use the Wi-Fi module of ESP32 and the required libraries we need to install it friends. In the stage 3, we need to have it as a blink and web and in the laptop we need to create a template or a device and we need to copy certain things friends so that things we need to take to the stage 4 that is in the stage 4 the blink li blink libraries we need to install with as an arduino and we need to copy it friends so what we try to do it out is we need to take the settings and copy with a blink and which we try to control over the IoT and cloud friends. In the stage 5 we need to familiar with this mobile RNA desktop with a blink application where we try to create the widget and control it and it will receive the, over the ESP32 over the IoT and cloud and control the LED friends. These are the Five major stages is very important. Now let us see the code work friends. Now I have opened the Arduino IDE 2.1.0 with ESP32 dev module as a board name friends. Now let us see the stage by stage. The first stage the red LED have connected to the pin number 2. Blue LED I am connecting to the D4. In the set of functions pin mode red LED and green, blue LED as output and digital write I am making as a low. In the loop function the red LED and blue LED will be low. After one second, they are becoming as a high, and then after one second, they are becoming as a low friends. So now I connect the ESP32. So now let um, now let me flash it, friends. Okay, it's uploading, it's connecting, and it's flashing, friends. Now you can see it over here. Now I can see the red and blue LED blinking, friends. Now let us move to the stage two, friends. 
Now let us see the stage 2 that is nothing but I have included the Wi-Fi.h and Wi-Fi client.h and SSID that is nothing but the access point name and the password and the rest of the thing red and blue LED the same from the stage 1 it is carry forward and the set setup up to these 4 lines it is the same I am making as in you want initialization and wifi.begin with SSID and password if it is connected I am going to print the IP address that is nothing but the wifi.local IP and in the loop function it is the same frame so the thing is whether we can get the lo local IP and whether it can connect to our access point or not that access point has to connect it over ethernet friends network friends ethernet network friends now let me take the sketch and verify and compile it now let me go and flash it friends now again the compilation of sketch is taking place after that it will try to flash it for later and with 11 uh, 1,15,200 now let us see whether it has been connected and whether it can give the local IP or not ok so now what I am doing is I am uh, rebooting friends ok now you can see the Wi-Fi is connected here you can see it over here friends the Wi-Fi is connected and the IP address is like this so you need to get in the second stage you need to get like this friends now let us move to the stage number 3 friends so now the BLYNK blink template ID template name authentication token yes we try to get this one friend please hold down these are the thing, things we need to copy paste at the top only otherwise we try to get the error friends so apart from the wifi.h, wifi client.h, blink simple esp32.h so this is the library you need to install it and then only you can get apart from this one ssid password and this authentication is pointing to the blink uh, authentication token so this is the one and the rest of the thing is same friends but in the setup function, the very important thing is blink not begin with authentication, SSID and password I have given friends. This is the change in the stage number 3. So we are connecting to the cloud IoT friends to the blink by using these 3. And in the loop function I am running, I am writing as a blink not run. I am taking a two function, one is blink underscore write with as an, an virtual v0 and this blink underscore write virtual one friend so I am taking the value and I am writing if the value is low the red LED will be low if the value is 1 the red LED will be 1 mean it will become high friend similarly it is a blue LED friend so this is the total code and but how to fill these things we try to know and what is meant by virtual channel this v0 v1 that we try to see when we are moving on to the blink web, web page friends so now let us move to the sketch verify and compile now i am opening the blink blynk so this is the one i am opening friends add it freshly so now you can go to the here and this is the one thing friends okay so this is the you can go to the new template now you can go to the new template and this is the LED control I am giving so we the hardware name is ESP32 and the connection type is the Wi-Fi so I am going to give it over here friends now let us go to the uh, uh, configuration of any template RNA data streams friends ok so this is the new data stream I am going over here this is the virtual pin I am selecting so the first one will be I am giving as a red LED friends red underscore LED so this is the one and here you can select this is the red color and ok just a minute friends yeah you can see it uh, this is the data type is integer and this the pin will be you can see it over here friends V0 this is the virtual pin this is the V0 this max is 1 I am saving over here friends and similarly I am selecting one more virtual pin so I am selecting as an any blue LED this is the blue LED or uh, you can make it as a blue LED and here you can select as per the things the blue and this is the V1 this is the virtual pin V1 this is the integer and the max is 1 so I am creating over here friend so these are the two things I have created and I am saving friends 
next one is the go to the uh, this the web uh, dashboard now you can go and edit it over here friends so here i am taking a switch one and one more switch i am taking friend two switch so you, go, you can uh, click on the settings and to which pin it has to connect it first one is the red one so i am giving the red led show on or off label so this one also i am selecting and example this is the on and the off label i am giving as off friends so like this i have saved it and similarly i am going over here and selecting as what virtual pin it has to connect this is the v1 and on value is one off value is zero show on or off label on label is on off label is off how we have done for the red led similarly we are doing for the blue led friends so now i am saving over here friends so this is this is the way the dashboard looks like this friends now i am the come back to the here now if you go to the search button now you can create a new device take select from templates the template is nothing but the led control so that that is device name is led control friends now you have created now you came here friends click copy the code and now what we have to do it out here friends now i'm closing this one and i'm opening the arduino id now you can move up and these are the three lines you can copy paste friends so these are the three lines you can copy paste friends now now let me go to the uh, sketch verify and compile you can see the output now i am flashing friends again it is a compilation is happening and now you can see it now let me go to the serial monitor now you can see friends now it is connecting and this is ready ping 229 milliseconds so now it has been connected friends so in this case i am closing this one and now i am going on to the here friends so now you can see it so now go back this is the device control now you can uh, now here you can see my devices led control friends click on this one and now you can turn on now the red led is on now you can turn on the blue led is on now blue led is off and red led is off friends so like this you can and do or you can control from the blink iod cloud friends so what typically it is happening friend esp32 is connected to our access point that access point is connected to the cloud friends so now whatever this cloud what we are making as an on or off that is coming and hitting our access point from the access point the data is coming to the esp32 the esp32 is making the on or off friends now when we discussed about the code so this v0 v1 is nothing but the virtual channel or virtual input friends the v0 is the one and v1 is the one so whatever we have given as an, an a slide input so this the, whenever we are changing so this blink run will take and will execute the blink write with the virtual channel 0 this virtual channel 1 friend so like this it has been controlled friends now let us see the demo friends in the blink mobile app i am making on and off of the red and blue led friends now i am making the off of the red led and off of the blue led friends now let us move the move to the laptop blink web page friends now i am making on and off from the web page friends from the blink iod cloud friends and now you can see it the demo friends if you like this video for more interesting updates please like share comment and subscribe to our channel that will help a lot friends thanks for watching this video friends